Hey, what's happening, guys? What's going on? YouTube, good morning, everybody. You guys have tuned into Rules for Rebels, and we got an interesting business news story for you guys today. Uh, but this is business news with a twist. This is kind of a weird story. This is news that the news does not want you to know about or news that the media does not want you to know about. So basically what happened, some of you guys may be aware of this. Uh, some of you guys maybe have family who are pilots for Southwest or who work for Southwest Airlines. Uh, or maybe some of you guys were traveling this weekend and were affected by this. Uh, Southwest had major delays and cancellations on Saturday and Sunday. Thousands of flights canceled at one point on Saturday night or Sunday morning. Upwards of 30% of all Southwest flights were canceled. And Southwest quickly came out and said this was due to weather. Now, when people across the country started saying the whole country has good weather, like, a lot of these problems were coming out of Midway Airport yesterday. You know, I'm in Chicago. Yesterday I was at the beach. It was 84 degrees and sun sunny. There is certainly no bad weather. So once it became pretty much inevitable that you couldn't blame this on weather, then they said it was weather and air traffic control issues. Well, what's actually happening, and we'll kind of dive into this in a minute, but what's actually happening is Southwest pilots on Friday filed a lawsuit to block the, uh, the thing mandate. Uh, you know, certain words we can't say here. So to block the thing mandate. And then over the weekend, this is not an official strike. I, I believe, um, you know, unions and labor organizations have certain rules about how they can strike and when they can strike. But basically, this is a sick out, meaning that all the Southwest pilots uh, all called in. You know, I don't know about all of them, but a good percentage of the Southwest pilots all called in sick on Saturday and Sunday to disrupt the airline in industry and kind of in a roundabout way protest the thing mandates. Um, now the airline doesn't want to admit this. Now, why wouldn't Southwest want to admit this? Well, first of all, uh, you know, they, well, one of the, the most obvious things is if a ca flight cancellation is due to weather, I believe, and somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the airline doesn't have to do anything for you. They don't have to put you up in a hotel. They don't need to give you meal vouchers. It's, you know, it's an act of God. It's the weather. However, if a delay is because of something that is within the airline's control or is the airline's fault, they will have to book you on another flight and pay the difference. They will have to put you up in a hotel. They will have to give you a meal voucher. So Southwest, in order to not have to uh, put everybody up in hotels, wants to say this is weather. Also, I'm sure Southwest doesn't want to be the, you know, quote unquote, anti-wax. Uh, again, careful about what words we say. They don't want to be the anti-wax airline. And thirdly, I'm sure they don't want to look like they don't have control over their employees and their workforce. Uh, so they're pushing this idea that it's weather and air traffic control issues, which is one thing, right? But why would the media push the same story, right? The media won't come out and say why this is happening. Southwest Airlines cancels 1,800 flights blaming weather and staffing, right? So I guess they are at this point coming out and saying it is a staffing issue, but they're not saying kind of the root cause of the staffing issue. Southwest Airlines, uh, widespread cancellations disrupt weekend trail. I mean, you can see images from all these... Uh, uh, airline terminals across the country with hundreds, if not thousands of people waiting to get flights rescheduled, uh, whereas normally your flight gets delayed and you can maybe get on one a couple hours later. Southwest is, is booking people not until Tuesday or Wednesday, so they're anticipating that this is going to drag on uh, for a couple more days. Southwest cancels hundreds of flights over the weekend, citing bad weather and air traffic control issues. Uh, let's see. After a weekend of canceled flights around the U.S., how is Southwest going to do Monday? Uh, Southwest Airlines widespread ca widespread cancellations disrupt weekend travel, and uh, it almost seems like the media is purposely just like parroting Southwest line, so that in a couple days when it becomes obvious and uh, you can't really ignore the true reason for this, they'll be like, oh well, that's just what we were told at the time. Yeah, it turns out it was a uh, an anti-wax uh, protest. But uh, let's see, this is from 11 hours ago. Let's see what they what they say just kind of briefly. Southwest Air said air traffic control issues and weather in Florida on Friday sparked delays and cancellations nationwide. So apparently it's sounding like there may also be an issue with air traffic controllers calling in sick in both Jacksonville and possibly Atlanta as well. Uh, Southwest Airlines and the FAA and union leaders all giving different explanations for why over a thousand Southwest flights have been canceled on Sunday alone, according to the tracking website FlightAware. That's almost four times as many flights canceled sunday by southwest compared to other airlines listed on the website and here's another thing right if this was a weather issue it would affect all airlines now there were more cancellations across the board uh at the time that i checked about 28 percent of southwest airlines flights were canceled 
uh, whereas some air, other airlines, you know, American, China Air, some others had maybe 12%, 14%, 9%, 7%. So across the board, it was more than normal. But, uh, you know, there's no reason why Southwest would have so many more canceled than everybody else. Um, lines of Southwest customers piled up at airports like Chicago's Midway as they tried to get answers to why their flights were canceled. We had to get a hotel, the Ubers, food, you name it. Nothing was ever promised. They didn't comp us anything, and that's because they blamed it on weather. I need to be reimbursed. I need to be said, we're sorry, added Brett Yeats. Southwest is blaming a perfect storm of weather early in the weekend in Florida, paired with unforeseen air traffic control issues in the same region. However, FAA said its staffing issues ended Friday, adding that military training compounded the challenges airlines have faced. So, uh, you know, Southwest... Uh, after not being able to blame the weather, is then trying to blame air traffic control. Uh, but the FAA is like, no, it's not an air traffic control issue. We're, we're fine. Uh, this is just unbelievable. As you can see, none of these articles are actually getting to the root cause. But if we head over to Twitter, uh, and this is kind of how I became aware of this story, uh, Southwest is trending. I think on, on Saturday night or Sunday morning, it was at like number one, down to number 16. Now, generally, I'm not a big fan of Twitter, but it is a, a place to get uh, kind of breaking news or seeing what people are talking about. Uh, new, Southwest Airlines has canceled another 1,000 flights, more than a quarter of its Sunday schedule per flight aware. It's a second straight day. Now, why would the media continue running with this false narrative put out by Southwest? Well, there's also a certain narrative that the uh, the media wants to push, and it's that not only is the thing in your arm good and you need to, to, to get it, but everybody else is getting it, and you're the lone weirdo if you don't want to get it. Um, same reason why, you know, there have been crazy protests going on in Australia for weeks, if not months. Um, and that's not shown to us. Why? Well, probably because the, the narrative needs to be everybody's going along with the program. Nobody's protesting. Nobody's objecting. And if uh, if we show all the protests going on in Australia, maybe it gives Americans an idea. Well, I guess not everybody is going along with this. If we showed the protests in France or the UK or even New York City last week where medical professionals and teachers were protesting, uh, you know, it kind of destroys the narrative that everybody is going along. One thing I don't like about Twitter, you're going to tend to get the same narrative if you look at the top thing. Um, so I, I typically will go over the latest, and that way you can kind of get, uh, you know, it's not necessarily big blue star people or blue blue checkbox people, but you can kind of get the real story that most people are saying as opposed to whatever narrative Twitter wants to push. Uh, here, I don't know who Errol Weber is, but Southwest Airlines employees keep pushing back. Air traffic controllers keep pushing back, hold the line, make the airline industry crack. Uh, Southwest pilots are the real first responders. So what, what's going on here, if anybody hasn't been following this story, pretty much all major airlines have mandated the thing in your arm, minus Delta, who, who Delta is finding their employees and their spouses $200 a month if they don't get it. Southwest was the last airline to not require it. Eventually, the federal mandate is going to force airlines to get it because airlines uh, are part of the, what is it, the civil defense, where they can be called on like they were recently during the botched Af Afghan withdrawal uh, to help get civilians out of the country, and they also carry U.S. mail in their cargo holds. So Southwest is technically a federal contractor. We'll see what happens if the employees keep, uh, keep kind of bucking the system. Uh, let's see, proud of every single Southwest Air employee pushing back against medical tyranny. We the people have the power. Uh, Southwest Airlines is claiming that weather is partially responsible for their massive operational and PR nightmare. Because if it's weather-related, they don't have to refund their customers. This is entirely self-inflicted. And again, the media, who should be standing up for the people and telling the people what's really going on, obviously we know that that doesn't happen in the media, uh, but that's what the media should be doing. But the media is kind of helping to run cover for, uh, for Southwest Airlines. Let's see. We must all do this thanks to Southwest Air pilots and staff who are standing up to tyranny. Let's see what this says. I asked one of the pilots about it. The answer I got, paraphrasing, 80% of our pilots are ex-military. We see the tyranny that's happening. They're coming for essential workers first. Nurses, doctors, firefighters, police, military, teachers, and transportation workers. They're coming for the rest of America next. We're not doing it for us. We're doing it for America. We swore to defend the Constitution. Uh, against enemies, and I saw, uh, you know, here, here we got something, you can just see all these flight delays, right? Delayed, 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 delayed. Um, where was it? I had something up from Twitter or from, 
Okay. Uh, pilots refusing mandates and silence. Here's a pilot on Twitter uh, saying, look, you know, this isn't about whether uh, the beer thing is dangerous or not. This isn't about whether the things in your arm are good or bad. This is about your rights and tyranny. And even if you're on board with this mandate right now, you're giving the government a power that you're never going to be able to take away and that they're never going to give away. And even though you might be in line with what they're forcing on people with today, uh, there will come a time when they want to force something that you're not in line with. And, you know, you've already paved the way for them to do that. So uh, I'll link to kind of everything that I'm showing in this YouTube video. Uh, if we go on YouTube, passengers scramble as Southwest, Southwest delays, air traffic and weather issues. Uh, so we're kind of seeing more of the uh, more of kind of the, the same narrative here. Um, let's see what else do we got here. Southwest suffers operational meltdown as hundreds of flights canceled or delays. Uh, Southwest customers dealing with flight cancellations across the country. We're not out of the woods yet. Southwest at Southwest admits struggles will continue as employee gripes grow. Okay, so here's kind of where, oh no, this is an old article. So here's what might be partially at play, right? Like pretty much everybody is overworked. We've talked in some of these recent videos about labor shortages, how when you're low staffed, you wind up asking more of your existing staff, hey, could you work harder? Could you work more efficiently? Could you stay a couple hours late today? Hey, could you skip your day off? Hey, could you skip that vacation you got you got scheduled? And you wind up burning out your existing employees. So I'm sure that's part of it as well. Employees are kind of overworked and getting fed up. Uh, Reno, Las Vegas, Southwest Airline employees, reach out to me. I got you. Let's see. Now imagine if everyone everywhere did the same thing. Um, stay strong. Do not comply with Southwest Airlines. Uh, from a contact who is an air traffic controller, Southwest cancellations and delays are 100% a blank mandate protest, which you already knew. Employee protests at other airlines are planned. I did think it was kind of weird how Southwest is kind of standing up and doing this. Uh, we didn't hear anything from American or United or Delta. Uh, if enforced, the ATC blank mandates are likely to disrupt air travel globally. Uh, good morning, everyone, and especially good morning to the Southwest Airlines employees who banded together and shut their tyrannical company down yesterday. Uh, we can beat this, stick together, um, and, you know, more just, uh, let's see, can we go to media? I wonder if we can go to... Uh, to media and you can see images of everybody like laying on the floor in uh in the airports and things like that you know, some of these cues don't actually look that bad um yeah i was seeing a lot of uh let's see maybe if we go over to google images i mean, there were people like sleeping all over the floors of the airports yeah these ones aren't looking too crazy but uh so some other images i saw uh, it looked pretty crazy. Let's see. I thought CNN had a, an article that didn't really go into any detail. Um, okay, so here's over an hour ago. Let's see what uh, let's see what CNN is saying about this. Southwest canceled more than 2,000 weekend flights, and the disruption continues. Uh, the long weekend got a bit longer for Southwest customers after the airline canceled more than 2,000 flights Friday through Sunday. The world's largest low-cost carrier canceled three of every 10 departures, so about 30% it had scheduled on Sunday, and the disruption continued into Monday, a federal holiday with 337 flights, or about 1 in 10 canceled so far, according to the aviation tracking website FlightAware. The company blamed the cancellations on, and you know, here's why journalism is dead, right? Like, uh, journalism should want to get to the bottom of why this is happening, but nobody's actually you know, I'm sure everybody knows why it's happening, but nobody's investigating why it's happening and calling that out. Everyone's just kind of parroting what Southwest is saying as opposed to actually digging into this. And here's what's really weird with the times we're living in and just our country right now. You know, it used to be only countries like North Korea or, you know, some crazy third world country where the media lies to the people. The people know that the media is lying to them. The media knows that the people know that they're lying to them, but everybody just kind of goes along with it. And it's kind of what we're seeing right here, and it's kind of dystopian and creepy. Uh, the company blamed cancellations on air traffic control problems and limited staffing. So, you know, they are going to say limited staffing, but they're not going to say the reason behind the limited staffing in Florida as well as bad weather. It told CNN late Sunday that getting operations back to normal was more difficult and prolonged because of schedule and restaffing reductions made during the blank. Uh, we've continued diligent work throughout the weekend to reset our operation with a focus on getting aircraft and crews 
repositioned to take care of our customers, the airline said in a statement. Uh, in a statement, the Federal Aviation Administration said there have been no air traffic related cancellations since Friday. So basically, what, what Southwest is saying is kind of BS. And it's kind of disappointing because Southwest has always been kind of the no bullshit airline, right? Southwest is a friendly airline. I think their employees are much friendlier than other airlines. Um, they give you free bags. I just feel like they're one of the airlines that doesn't fuck you as much as the other airlines. Uh, but here, you know, kind of they're running this nonsense. Flight delays and cancellations occurred for a few hours Friday afternoon due to widespread severe weather, military training, and staffing in one of our areas of Jacksonville Air Route Control. However, other airlines did not appear to be severely impacted by these issues. Well, that's weird, right? It's a weather, it's a weather issue, but it's only affecting one airline. Uh, on Sunday, American Airlines canceled 2% of its flights, and low-budget Spirit Airlines also canceled 2%, according to FlightAware. It's a busy travel weekend as Monday is a federal holiday. Southwest canceled 808 flights on Saturday, stranding thousands of passengers across the country. Uh, Mayor Corey was set to fly from Oklahoma City to Orlando Sunday morning for a cruise at 3 a.m. She saw her flight had been canceled and spent more than eight hours on the phone with customer service. Apparently, because there's, you know, obviously the laws of supply and demand, because there's so few flights, more people are booking them and the cost of flights is going through the roof as well. And again, Southwest isn't even offering to book people until Tuesday or Wednesday, uh, which kind of tells you that either these problems are going to continue into today, Monday, um, or, um, you know, it's just going to take them that much longer to kind of get back on track. Here's one of the things I, I hate about YouTube. And here's, you know, this I'm getting a little bit off topic here, but uh, I saw a couple good videos the other day that were titled, I Missed the Old YouTube. And it used to be you could pull up something about Southwest delays and you might actually see like somebody making a YouTube video at the airport. Like, oh, I'm stranded at Midway Airport. I've been here for the last 18 hours. What the hell is going on? Uh, you'd hear other people talking about their take on it. But when we do a search now, what do you get? You just get all mainstream media, right? NBC Bay Area, uh, WKMG News, NBC News, Fox News, NBC News, WGN News, CBS News. You know, I, I don't know how we would find like a, a, an actual person's take on this. Again, what? News, 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 mainstream media. I can't find a real person like you or I uh, making a YouTube video talking about this. And that's what YouTube started out as, so is, is people like you and me uh, putting out content, sharing their opinions. And now all we get is the same news, which isn't even giving us facts. Um, let's head back to Twitter. We'll take a look at uh, a few more of these tweets. Uh, Nothing is more assuring than pilots who do not believe in science and fight against Southwest Airlines. Uh, blank drive they should work for a different airline so Twitter seems to be kind of split obviously Twitter has a certain slant to it about half the people on Twitter are like fire them fire them fire these assholes fire these non-science believers it's funny how many people are like I would never fly in an airline where the pilot hasn't had the thing and people are like you realize it's not mandated for passengers so the pilot not only is in a sealed off area separate from you not only are airlines air exchanged uh, and completely recycled every three minutes, uh, but you really shouldn't be con concerned about the airline pilot who is 30 rows ahead of you in a locked box away from you when you could very potentially be uh, be sitting next to somebody who hasn't had the thing. It just doesn't make a, lot, a whole lot of sense. And the other half, half of people are sticking up for the airline pilots and thanking them for standing up for people's freedom. Uh, now knowing my Southwest air flight was canceled yesterday due to workers protesting the blank mandate, uh, I'm less annoyed. So this person supports them. Uh, the best pilots and crew are on Southwest. I want to make sure everyone is healthy by all means. If you don't feel 100%, it is so right to call in sick. Um, air traffic controllers in Dallas are staging a sick out to protest blank mandates, causing thousands of Southwest. So it seems like this problem is spreading. Um... What's your guys' take on this? Were you aware of this story? Are you stuck in an airport right now because of this? I know this is a little bit different than what we normally do. This is business news, um, and it'll be interesting to see kind of how this, you know, we're already dealing with a labor shortage, and now these mandates are causing a lot of uh, healthcare workers, doctors, nurses, uh, airline pilots, and transportation professionals to walk off the job. Um, as these mandates start spreading to other businesses, and if Joe Biden's OSHA rules roll out in, I'm hearing they're not going to roll out until May of 2022, which is like, what's the point at that? You know, that's over a year from now. Um, but it'll be interesting how this winds up affecting other industries and other businesses. Uh, again, this is the news that the news doesn't seem to want to tell you about. 
that's all I got for you guys in today's video. Would love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment down below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.